So guys, what we're doing is we're about to feed this Goliath bird eater tarantula. This is not the one that I'm gonna put on my face, but Ty's gonna feed it. So we got some large male dubia roaches here. These guys are really fast and a really good feeding source for your tarantulas because of how much vibrations they put off. And you'll see just how quickly this tarantula realizes that it's food. Oh my God. This is the closest I've been to a tarantula. Oh my God, look at that. Oh yeah, look at that happy dance. So the happy days, see people who don't know, is when the tarantula is eating, he's putting web down as he's moving. And he's gonna make a little web base. He's gonna put the prey items in that web, cover them up, and then pull them off of the ground. Uh, this is just to further secure their meal. But in the hobby, we like to call it the happy dance because it looks like they're dancing. <laughs> Got a little bit of bad news. We had to move Cobra out of that enclosure because he just wasn't feeling it. I'm not gonna keep an animal somewhere where they are not comfortable or stressing out. Once I see signs of stress, moving him out. So we put him back where he was um, previous to this one. Um, and we actually just moved Knuckles up. We're gonna leave Knuckles in here and see how he does in his new enclosure. We still got COVID here, but ah, 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 come back. We took some stuff out. I mean, with him being a, a big tegu lizard, you know, he, he don't need those, that many branches. He don't really climb with him being an adult. Uh, the babies more so climb, um, but yeah, he's, he's good, man. He's warming his belly up. This would be perfect for him. My man Ty is messing this thing down, making sure that humidity is nice. So Ty is the big man in charge today. He's gonna be getting Sarabi out. Sean here says that I have to use a hook. We'll see about that. Sarabi good. Oh yeah, no, we're gonna use a hook. Yeah, we'll use a hook. It's all good. There you go. Sarabi looking all nice. Look at her. Look at them colors, man. Whoa. Oh yeah. Oh, now, yeah. now that is a beautiful female anaconda right there. That is a beautiful female right there. We'll set your tail down on the ground, baby girl. Open this up for you. Poke your face in and let you do your thing. <laughs> So I'm having a change of plans here at the shop. And I mean, those things are normal. It happens all the time. Whatever y'all, but what I'm thinking is, uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna go the route that I said I was gonna go with the next building over. I have other plans now. What I'm thinking is utilizing my backyard space that I have. I gotta clean all of this up, man. Can't wait to get a haircut tomorrow. We're gonna get into some gel blasting, you know what I mean? We've all had trials and errors, right? Cobra being one of my trials and errors is okay, I don't mind. Uh, everybody goes through it. Uh, that was one that I guess I just didn't fully prepare for. Of course, I'm a little upset about it because I did take a lot of time to create this just for Cobra. I've had visions of Cobra in here. What can you do, man? If the animal doesn't like it, what can you do? So that's that. I'm hyped. I'm so hyped. The customers are gonna love this. We got these front open terrariums, 12 by 12 by 15s. We got the paludariums in here, the 12 by 12 by 24s, the 10 gallons, the 20 gallons. 
We got Rep the Breezes over there. Dude, Rep the Chip. Man, we got a bunch of stuff. So make sure you guys come over here to the shop and pick out something that you would love to just have and set up and enjoy and have fun with. You know what I mean? Like, look, I still got all this space here. I'm working on it, guys. I'm, I'm working, working on it. But yeah, tanks just came in. Let's go. Leah, what are we about to do? Feed the tortoise. Do you eat lettuce? She will really appreciate that fresh lettuce. That is a red foot tortoise. Under this red foot tortoise is leaf and crush. You know that, guys, don't you? Put that on this side over here. Here coming in. Put all of it right there. From where? From Africa. Mm -hmm. That's our morning routine with the tortoise. What we do every day for the tortoise. So this is Leaf, and behind us we have Crush over there. Crush is still sleeping. So I'll save this for him for later. So the goal is to get these little particles in here. These little big old poops and, and things. Look, look at Leaf over there crushing his food. Mm -hmm. He's almost done, then crunch. Zoom Man Snake Hook. I'll show you how to use this snake hook. This is one of the things you will use your snake hook for. We will be cleaning this guy out. Uh, this is one of our holds. Uh, someone purchased this reticulated python from me. He's very nice. I really don't need the snake hook, but I'm just showing you guys. We will be transferring him to this holding container, and then we're gonna clean him out with the blue juice and put him back in there for holding, and he'll be picked up in a few days. This is how I hook train slick. Um, this is how I got her used to being handled. And this thing is perfect if you're, you know, just starting, even with ball pythons. Look at this guy. He's actually beautiful. Take a look at him. Take a look at this boy. So this is a Motley Retic. All right, so we have his water dish. I'm going to dump that out, give him some fresh water. All his poop came on his napkin. Easy cleanup. So what I'm gonna do now? Spray it down with the blue juice. That is also here. It's here. Come pick some up this weekend, or get it shipped to you. Before you guys criticize about the retic being in a plastic bin, it is only for holding purposes. You guys know I give the best enclosures to my animals. And also the animals that aren't here for a long time. I even give them the best while they're here at my shop. A paper towel back down. Get that water dish, put that water dish back. 
Boom, some nice fresh water. But again, the snake hook, this is what the snake hook is good for. And we have a bunch of them. Extended, if you don't want to reach in there and get your snake. There you go. And that's how you do it. Come get you a snake hook. Don't forget to sanitize your hands, all right? Yeah, I haven't tried this with Nigel in a while. Let's try this, guys. Nigel. Come on. So Oscar is eating again, guys. Next time, I'm definitely getting my GoPro and filming him underwater eating. button uh, tune into the playlist uh, check out all the new animals that just came in uh, I've been posting and posting and posting um, yeah just get in tune get you know involved uh, I've been posting I don't be posting for nothing right I'll be posting so that y'all can get in tune and know what's going on around here all right all right guys so we're out of here you hit a tornado watch um, sirens I got my hair cut too but look we out of here I hope you enjoyed the vlog I'm out gotta get home gotta get some food